Good afternoon YouTube. It's Tuesday and it's time for the H's. Disney Plus start this morning. Are you enjoying it? I just love the fact that all 30 series of The Simpsons is on there. So yes, we do have it. I'm not abandoning my Blu-rays for streaming. Not in the fucking slightest. I will always be a Blu-ray collector. Streaming will not overtake my life. But there's some good shit on there. And I love The Simpsons. I haven't even started to go for the Star Wars stuff yet. And Frozen 2 ain't going to start on there till I think this 22nd of June, which is really annoying. But there you go. Let's just hope it turns up next week. Maybe not, maybe. We'll see. But we'll go through the H's. Now, first things first. Yes, I have all the Harry Potters. And I do have them also in what's be better known as the 3D on the at last two. But they're all up there behind figures, so I can't be asked to get them down. So just know I have all the Harry Potters. I have owned them twice in 4K and sold them on, just simply because I needed the money. It happens, but there you go. So let's hit the pole, get through this before you fall asleep. First, we have Hacked. This is known as IT as well. It's This is a German, that's why it's called Hacked, but most of the places it's called IT. Uh, Pierce Brosnan, haven't watched yet, but I heard good things and I did like the advert, so we'll look forward to that one. Next, we have Hail Caesar. It's supposed to be quite a cool film, actually. I have yet to watch it, and I think, yes, that is George Clooney as Caesar. Next, we have Hairspray. John Travolta in a dress. Need you say more? Been made into an extremely successful West End show as well. Or Broadway, whatever you want to call it. Half Past Dead. Yeah. It's okay. And I do mean only mean okay. Hall Pass. Haven't actually watched this yet, believe it or not. But, you know, a lot of these are quite funny, I suppose. But I have not watched him yet. Halo, Forward Until Dawn. Um, I have not got all of these yet, I don't think. I've got Fall of Reach as well. I do have one of these in Steelbook format as well. Got Halo Nightfall. Was there another one? No, that's it. I think there's one more to get. Then I'll watch those through. But I love the Halo games as it is. Next, we have the classic Hamburger Hill. Oh, this is a, there's some visceral stuff in this. Classic film. Well worth having in your collection. Hammer of the Gods. Yeah, it looks okay. Um, maybe a bit cheap. But Vertigo films are usually not too bad. I love Hancock. I've got this in a steelbook format as well. I actually thought it was quite funny. Why can't a superhero have a drinking problem? That's what I say. We have the classics, which is Hangover Part 1. Hangover Part 2, of course. And Hangover Part 3. And, of course, I do have it as a trilogy steelbook as well. Next, we have the film Hannah. Um, I have heard very good things, but just never got around to watching this. I, I will make a... Uh, a conscious choice to watch this in the next couple of weeks actually because it's supposed to be quite a good film one of those i i i, I got no excuse hannah, hannah bloody montana hannibal anything annie hopkins has got to be cool but i haven't actually seen that one yet then we have series one of hannibal and that's all I've got at the moment. I'll probably get two more series before I watch those. But yeah, that is supposed to be quite cool. Next we have Hannibal Rising. Another one that I've yet to watch. Hansel Gretel Witch Hunters. Oh, I love this film. This is the extended cut. Oh, just, Jeremy Renner's brilliant in it. I mean, the big giant stamps on that guy's head. I pissed myself laughing. So you've got to have it 3D as well. I've got to get the steel books. It's really beautiful artwork. But I'm on the hunt for that one. Then we have The Happening, one of my uh, top 10 or 16 of the uh, virus films that I went through a couple of weeks back. It's M. Night Shyamalan. So everyone's, everyone has an opinion about M. Night Shyamalan, don't they? Not all necessarily good, but there you go. Here comes the second pile. Stay, right. Happy Death Day. I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, quite original in places and funny. And the sequel was actually really funny. Uh, happy Death Day to you. Recent pickup, recent watch, really enjoyed it. 
Next we have the classic, which is Happy Feet. Robin Williams does a voiceover in this, and he's right back to the classic. Right up there with Aladdin in voiceover skill there, in my opinion. And then we have Happy Feet 2. And of course I'm going to have the 3D version of that as well. Why not? Why wouldn't you? One of Adam Sandler's best, Happy Gilmore. Really funny film. Highly recommend that one. Then we have Hardboard Sweets. One that I've never watched, but I have heard good things about. I really need to get around to watching that one. Next, we have Hard Rush with uh, old Lundgren, Dolph Lundgren and Vinnie Jones. Can't be too bad for, the, for those two names, really. Hardcore Henry, an extremely original way of filming. Uh, makes you feel sick sometimes, but it's actually quite a good action film. I was quite surprised by it. This we get into the choppy waters here. We have Harold and Kumar's Happy Christmas and Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Uh, I've got to pick up White Castle basically, but yeah, they're, they're funny in places. Harry Brown, a cool Michael Caine film. It doesn't matter what his age is, he could always end up making a cool film. And it's actually quite, it's quite well done. It surprised me. I think somebody owed him a favour to make that one. Harry Hill, the movie. Hearts War, one of the Bruce Willis's that I've not watched. And Colin Farrell's in it. I mean, it's, I should have really watched this by now. Let me know your thoughts if you've seen it. Am I being an idiot not watching it? The Hateful Eight, another cool film. Tarantino. You, ca you just can't knock the guy. He makes cool stuff. One of a plethora of hat and gar robbery films, The Hat and Garden Job. This is probably one of the best of, of the bunch. But it took his time coming out. Next we have The Haunting in Connecticut. My missus loves these types of films, you know, the possessions and all that. I'm not that hot on them, but there was a sequel and I bought picked it up as well. But I've yet to see it. Hawaii, just beautiful scenery. I always pick these up if I can, because sometimes they can they can be really expensive and you just don't want it to be. So if you can get them cheap, pick them up cheap. Haywire, another thriller that I've yet to watch. Really should have by now. I'm a naughty boy if you're not watching that one, I think. He Who Dares, The Cheap Man's SAS, and even the sequel, Downey Street Siege. Yeah, um, if anyone should have liked these, it would be my mate Anthony, and, you, and his exact words were, what a stinking pile of shit. Take from that what you will. If he's just not that into you, yeah, this is one of those cheapy romantic ones, I'm going to pick it up, aren't I? Headhunters, another one that I still yet, have yet to watch. But again, I've heard good things, so I am looking forward to it, and I don't regret buying it. Heartless, yeah, the more violent stuff from the older British pen. The Heat, funny as hell, I love this. Sandra Bullock, we've got the right stick up her ass in this film. And Melissa McCarthy, she can do no wrong in my opinion. Next, an absolute powerhouse classic, The Heat. Brilliant film, Val Kim was a nut job in that. Next we have The Heist. I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, Morgan Freeman is the best one in that, I think. But classic. Hello High Water. Not watched this one yet. Jeff Bridges. So you can't knock it for Jeff Bridges in it because one of the best actors ever produced, in my opinion. Cheap one, How Ride. It's got Quentin Tarantino Presents. So if he doesn't produce it and he presents it, you know it's okay and it just, he's doing somebody a favour, in my opinion. Yet to watch it myself. Hellboy. Nobody can play Hellboy better than Ron Perlman. Mind you, it doesn't mean you don't cock it up either. Because that was not as good as the first one. I do own the first one in a steelbook format. And I really did try to like this. I really did. About 10 minutes of this film was fun to me. The rest of it is a lot of shit. Disappointing. The Help. Not a bad film, actually. Shows a lot about what the prejudices were, prejudice were like back in the day, but not a bad film at all. Henry of Never... Just another one of those old ones with swords that i just got to collect because there's so many in the genre now. Henry's Crime. One of my only Keanu Reeves films I've not watched, believe it or not. I honestly don't know what it's about, but I'm going to always buy Keanu Reeves. Her? Yeah, that's a weird one. 
But like I said before, if it's got winner, winner, anything like Golden Glow, you, 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 they don't just give out those prizes for nothing. So it's got, it's got to be something good about it. Next pile. Next we have the Dwayne Johnson version of Hercules. Not too bad. Starting to find his feet, but again, too much grandstanding. It's tell the story a bit better, be more visceral. But yeah. Didn't stop me getting the 3D version though. Here comes a boom. I love Kevin James. This actually was better than I thought it was going to be. The Hereafter with Matt Damon. One of his only films I haven't watched as well. I must get around to that one. That was actually one of my first ever Blu-ray pickups as well. Hereditary. I've got it because it has its own little uh, fan base I think. I wasn't too sure about it. I'm yet to be convinced enough to actually watch it. Hero, one of Jet Li's best ever. The artistry in this film is just gobsmacking. And I think I have picked it up in Steelbook before and sold it. Hidden, 3D. Of course I'm going to get it 3D. Next we have High Rise. It's a weird film. I, I think in the end I turned it off about two thirds of the way through because it was just too weird. But I do also own it as a steel book as well for some reason. High School Musical 2. You may actually believe how hard that is to find. Uh, the first one is too expensive. I've never found that one cheap. But I have got the third one. I will pick up the first one at some point, but there's no way in hell I'm going to pay through the nose for it. Not for a film of that quality. But I am a completionist. Randy Couture in Hijacked. Not watched it, but it's Randy Couture. So, at the end of the day, he can't act, but I'm not going to tell him that because he punched me. A Hijacking. Not a bad film, actually. Uh, the tension is ramped up quite well in this film. I must give I must give it that, definitely. The Hills of Eyes 2. Now, I do have the original in steelbook format. I think I actually sold. So, I've got to pick it up normal again, just so I have both. I just haven't got round to it yet. And I'm going to get the steel book back because it's beautiful artwork. Hurricane? Yeah. Um, I don't know what they were trying to do with this film. It's, it's weird. If you can find it cheap, worth getting. One of my favourite comedies of all time. Hitch, Will Smith. Brilliant film. And that, another Kevin James classic as well. Annie Hopkins in Hitchcock. And of course, we all know who that is. Brilliant. Love Helen Mirren. Hitman Extreme Edition. Yeah. I never liked the look of this. It, yeah, it's based on the game, etc. So I bought it, but I haven't watched it. But to me, the sequel looked better via the advert alone. And the sequel is quite cool. Hitman's Bodyguard. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Samuel Jackson. I mean, dude, are you ever going to slow down before you die? But, you know, I enjoyed that one. Hitting the Apex is a, it's a, like a documentary thing. Not watched it, but always liked the cover, so I picked it up cheap. The Homesman. Not that much into westerns at the moment, but if it looks good, if it's cheap, I'll pick it up. I caught some of this on the Horror Channel the other night, Hobo with a Shotgun. Fucking hell, the acting in this sucks, but it's Rutger Hauer. And he blows this bloke's dick off. It's so funny when he does it. I mean, with a shotgun. Um, if you if you if you got a few beers in you, watch it. That's all I would say. And then we have the hole. Not a bad film, but then I picked it up in 3D as well. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I have to say, I did enjoy that one. Hologram for the King. Not watched it. One of the uh, originals that came out on the pound shop at two pound. So I had to pick it up. It's Tom Hanks at the end of the day. Holy Rollers, another one I've never seen. Jesse Eisenberg, I think when I bought this, he was starting to wind me up. So that's probably why I haven't watched it, but I will get around to it. Hollywood Land, Ben Affleck, cool dude. But see Adrian Bodie, I just, oh, I don't like the guy. Home, brilliant film. Well, well, yeah, well voiced over, brilliant colours in it. And looks amazing in 3D, yeah. This is the deluxe party edition in 3D. Of course I'm going to own that. Home of the Brave. Oh look, Samuel Jackson again. No idea. Haven't watched it. 
Home on the Range, one of the cheapest Disney's that's actually got its number on it. Yeah, I actually quite enjoyed that. Roseanne Bar's voice grates a bit. Statham again in Home Front, not a bad film. Bit rednecky, but I enjoyed it. Then we have series one of Homeland. We have series two of Homeland. And that's it at the moment. Um, I have heard good things about Homeland, but I want to get at least the next series before I watch them through. No, nope, don't judge me. It's Honey and Honey 2. Double pack, yeah. Cheap, yeah. So I got it. Probably never watch it. Honeymoon. Another one I picked up for a pound somewhere, I think. Not yet watched it, though. And then the absolute classic, which is Hook with Robin Williams. I love the colours in this. Brilliant, brilliant film. So gutted that he's gone. Next, we have... Uh, don't fall over. Hooligan Factory. I mean, just look at the look on that guy's face. I mean, you've got, you've got to buy it just for his face, really. Now, the guy that's in Sonic the Hedgehog. You think to yourself, has he done this before? Yeah, he's in this. With another CGI creature. So, I mean, don't get tight cast too much, will you, mate? But Hop's actually really good. Highly recommend Hop. Hope Springs, anything from Meryl Streep, you've got to have. She is an amazing actress. And the fact that Steve Carell's in it should be a good thing for everybody. Horns. Yeah, I was quite surprised by Horns. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But, yeah, everyone looks at Radcliffe and thinks, oh, Harry Potter, but he does do other things. I can't wait for Guns of Kimba. That looks amazing. Horrible Bosses. Funny as fuck. Jennifer Aniston really, really let her hair down in this one. Swearing and being a white bitch. Yeah, it really worked well. And then we have the sequel, which I haven't actually watched yet. But the first one, hilarious. A Horrible Way to Die. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of us are thinking about that right now. Haven't actually watched that one yet. As of this one, Horrid Henry the Movie in 3D. Yeah, I heard good things, but not seen it yet. Next we have The Horseman. I have no idea. It was cheap. Let me know if I'm missing something. I love Jim Carrey and I love Steve Carell. Horton Hears a Hoot. Really well done. It does sag a bit in the middle. I'll give it that. But it is a brilliant film. The Host. Not watched yet. This is the author of Twilight. It's always going to throw caution to the wind on that one. But it's in my collection. What more can I say? Hostage with Bruce Willis is a very good thriller, in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. The ones that everyone scream, get squeamish about, we're looking at Hostel. Hostel Part 2, the Unseen Edition. And we have Hostel Part 3. I've watched about half of the first one so far. And I'm like, oh! Hot Fuzz, yes, I've got the, what do they call it, the, the real editions. So glad to have that in the collection. I love that film. One film that did surprise me was this, Hot Potato. It's uh, Ray Winston. Um, just well worth a watch. I'll give it, just, just watch it. I won't explain too much about it, but it's different. Hot Pursuit, actually not too bad, quite funny in places. You can see the jokes coming a mile off, though. That's, that's the one thing I will say about it. Hot Tub Time Machine? Yeah. Is it the first or second one? I own the Hot Tub Time Machine as a steelbook as well, believe it or not, but I still haven't watched it. And I've not got the sequel yet. Hotel for Dogs, another cheapie. I haven't got, I mean, I'm really not going to watch anything with a chihuahua in or anything like that. Some of my favourite films next. Hotel Transylvania. I own this as a German steelbook. And I also have it 3D, of course, here. Hotel Transylvania 2. Again, I own it as a steelbook. And I own it 3D. I don't have the third one as a steelbook yet. But I do own Hotel Transylvania 3. But again, not 3D yet. Got some catching up to do there, really. Hours with Paul Walker. Talk about tense as hell. Trying to keep his daughter alive. Brilliant film. I picked this up cheap as chips, so I need to pick up all of these because, um, let's face it, he's a brilliant actor. But this is series six of House. But 
I mean, th th that series has got many plaudits all around the world, so I will collect them and binge watch. House at the End of the Street. You think, oh, God, not another remake, but it's good. Very well acted. I will highly recommend that one. And then we go from highly recommended to, oh, shit, what is this? The House Bunny. I have no words. House of Bones. I have no idea what this film was about, but when you look at that face, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, so I had to get that. It was only 50p. Then we have Series 1 of House of Cards. Series 2 of House of Cards. Series 3 of House of Cards. Series 4 of House of Cards. And then they change the packaging for Series 5. Which really gets on my tits. And now we're down to the last pile. You know me in Sin Asia, House of Fury. Producer is Jackie Chan, so you know it's going to be good. House with a Clock in the Walls. Oh, I tried my best to love this. All you think about when you see the advert, you're thinking to yourself, goosebumps, etc. It's okay, but it's pushing it. It's pushing it. How do you know? I don't. I haven't watched it. Uh, but it was 50p. How I Live Now. I have no idea. I think it, I think it looks a bit apocalyptic in places. But I have not watched it yet. How I Spent My Summer Vacation. Brilliant film. Very different from Mel Gibson. You don't expect it. But yeah, I highly recommend that one. Bit of mexican thrillery stuff. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Brilliant film with Jim Carrey. If you, if you enjoy Christmas, you can't have it without that film. I'd cancel your Christmas if you don't own that. How to be single. Quite a recent pickup. Uh, I like Rebel Wilson at the end of the day. But I still haven't watched it yet. How to lose friends and influence and alien people, sorry. Well, I'll just do that by farting, but there you go. Have not watched it yet. How to train your dragon. Used to own it in 3D, but sold it because I've got a good price. Then we have how to train your dragon 2. Used to have it 3D as well, but again, got a good price, so I sold it. I will get them back. But then the third one, I got it 3D really cheap. So I have the 3D for that one at the moment. And the How to, How to Train Your Dragon films are amazing if you haven't seen them. Howard's End, an absolute storm classic. Storming classic. Howard the Duck. If you, if you have any feelings about cinema, you need to have that in your collection. Especially if you like Gardens of the Galaxy. The Howling, Reborn. I really need to get my horrors up. Really need to do, and that's just the start of it. Hudson Hawk. Spent about two years searching for this. Then finally found it in Germany. Picked it up. About a week later, it was announced it was coming out in Britain three months later. But I don't give a fuck. I've got Hudson Hawk, and I am a big fan Parts and hall. I know a lot of people hate it, but it's brilliant. And then we go to one of the biggest piles of shit ever made. Winner of five Oscars. What the fuck did you pay him to get those? I hate Hugo. It's boring. It's shit. Then we have the real edition of the Hulk. Yay. Very happy to have that. Human centipede. Yeah. And you think that's weird. Watch that one, that's fucked up. The sequel, and there is a third one which I haven't got yet. Humanity's the end, end, the end is near. Not watch this at all. Don't really even know much about it, but I got it cheap. Hummingbird, more stay from. You know there's nothing you can do that's wrong. Let's pop these here. Then we have, are you still with me? You're not asleep yet? Good. Now, this next one, you will buy this just for the title. The hundred-year-old man who climbed out of the window and disappeared. I don't matter, it doesn't matter what the film's like. If you find a title like that, you've got to buy it. There's no arguments. The Hundred Foot Journey? It's Helen Mirren. That's the only reason I bought it and I ain't watched it yet. The awesome Hunger Games. I own it as a steelbook. Then we have, of course, the unseen version of the Hunger Games. So that's three copies of it I've got. Catching Fire, I own as a steelbook. Mockingjay Part 1, yeah, I own as a steelbook. 
and walking to part two. Yes, I own this is still work. Amazing film. Catherine Bigelow kicked your husband's out, uh, your ex husband's ass on the old uh, director part there, didn't you? Brilliant film. Amazingly brilliant, brilliantly amazing film. Tense as fuck. Highly recommend. Hush. Never seen it. Let me know. Husk. Picked it up at a petrol station for like a quid. So I ain't got a clue. But it's one of the After Dark originals, so there's got to be some merit to it. Hunt to Kill with Stephen, uh, Steve Austin, I should say. No idea, never watched it. Hunt a Killer. I really enjoyed this. Good action, good, 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 good thriller. Highly recommend. It's Gary Oldman. Got to get it. The Huntsman, Winter War. I really enjoyed the first film. This one, it pushes it a bit. It pushes it. But it's still enjoyable. And then we have it in 3D as well. So I've got to have some merit behind it. And the last two, we have Hybrid 3D, which is another After Dark, one of those originals. And the very last one is Hyde Park on Hudson. It's Bill Murray. You've got to buy Bill Murray because he's an amazing actor. And he's earned the right to be a money old shit now, I think. But that is my H-E-S. Obviously, there's going to be stuff that I'm missing. Remember, I do have the Harry Potters, even though I haven't shown them to you, because they're all up behind those figures that you can see above my head that way. Um, I really, really do appreciate all the comments as well, because just to get better ideas of what I need to collect really does help me out. Um, hope everyone's staying safe as well. We're on full lockdown now, eh? Knew it was going to happen. And he is going to go farther, and the army is going to be out in force, so be careful out there, really. Do as you're told. That's the main thing. Do as you're told. Be safe. I was supposed to go for a hospital appointment today. Waited outside of my wheelchair for half an hour. The ambulance that was supposed to pick me up cancelled, but didn't tell any of the patients today. So the entire clinic was cancelled, and they told not one of the patients. Yay! So now I have to go Thursday... And I've been told that they are taking everyone's casts off, putting you into temporary plastic ones until further notice. So I could be, spend the next five to six months in shitty plastic casts, which basically fuck my legs up even more because they've been told they're not allowed to keep people in plaster because of they can't guarantee when they're next going to see you. So, unfortunately, the next few months are going to be really painful. But I'll keep going, because you guys keep me going. I might, if I've got time today, I might try to get the eyes done as well. I still have my top 10 video to do for today. Don't even think for a second that I forgot that. That will happen today as well. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And I will be talking to you again today. So, you be ready for me.